Synthay is number one in the world at 8,200 trophies, but that's not the most ridiculous thing in this video. It's the army he uses. He comes in with five cannon carts, and in this video, we're gonna watch him meticulously pull apart every single base. Have a look at the troops Synthay has selected here. We're switching out all of those spammy baby dragons, and we're coming in with the... The, the attack in the game that requires the most level of control, you have to do so much multitasking. Synthé is going to be looking after five cannon carts at once here. I struggle enough looking after one. How does this guy go after five? So we'll watch this uh, first attack here from the International Space Station in the sense that we have to be so far zoomed out to see everything that is going on. But yeah, I don't know how he keeps up with all the numbers. He does a fantastic job. But look at this, right? So we sniped out all the buildings on the edge of the village, and then we're going to sneak in one archer to go take down the archer tower. Then we move the cannon closer, gets that down. There's another archer up here getting rid of the archer towers. And why are we targeting the archer towers specifically? Well, because the archer towers outrange our cannon carts. And look at that. That's another archer tower that we can just snipe with one archer. It's such a good trade. So you get rid of all the trash around it so that we can send in the archer to go do its thing. Cannon carts can just chill. We're not in a rush with them. And there we go. And the only defense left on this entire village that can outrange the cannon carts is this mega cannon here. So what do we do? We use our battle copter. Unfortunately, there is an air bow here, but we use the battle copter and uh, that level 35 battle copter is going to go in and it's only got one defense to get here. But I mean, look at this. It looks so stupid. And do you know what's the good thing about this army that's extremely unique to it, right? None of his troops aside from the archers are going to die. He has five cannon carts up. He started with five. He's going to end with five. How many other attack strategies in the game do you have all your troops alive at the end? There's none. There's none. We did a video a few days ago on the channel of a strategy I'm using where I swag my reinforcement troops. I'll link that above if you haven't watched that yet. But... I mean, this, this army should be able to do it a lot easier than mine, I'm going to be honest. In saying that, so the biggest defense that's a problem is a ground bow, although most of the bows you see in the game at the moment are on air, and this lava launcher. This lava launcher has insane range, uh, so you need to keep that in mind. You'll see in one of the future attacks how he deals with that, don't worry. I've got you covered. Now, he's just putting two cannon carts together because there's not enough places on the map where he can place a cannon cart. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, we lost one cannon cart to a push trap. Guess we'll just put another one there. That's what I really like about this. Like, normally, if, you know, most people just bring one or two cannon carts, and if you lose one to a push trap, it's the end of the world. Since they could lose three here, and he's still going to be absolutely chilling. So look at the range of that lava launcher, by the way. These cannon carts over here are nowhere near the lava launcher, yet they're nearly in range. So, he gets rid of everything on the edge of the base, and then as soon as he sees, yep, he sees that lava launcher go after his uh, battle machine, and now we are in business. We can start using our cannon carts again, and we're going to finish off the base with baby dragons. So, unfortunately, he doesn't do any attacks with seven cannon carts. I would love to watch seven cannon carts, honestly. We're going to try it. Okay, we're going to go through Synthay's replays here. But then we are going to go and try the cannon carts. Uh, se can we... Tri so you still need the archers, but can we triple with seven cannon carts? Wait to find out, but I've got more Synthay for you first. This attack here looks genuinely ridiculous. So yet again, I'm just showing you the start so you can see him switching up. So... Synthay is not using this every attack. I'm just going to say that straight up. So clearly this doesn't work on every style of base, but this base right here is perfect for it. And why is that? So the first thing you have to identify with this is what defenses on the map outrange your cannon carts. So we've got an archer tower here. We've got the lava launcher here and we've got the archer tower here. That's it. This archer tower and the... the in the, what is it, the double down mode, whatever it is, uh, it will not outrange our mortar mode. So it's just those three defenses. Now, the lava launch is obviously a critical one because its range is enormous, but because it's on the bottom side of the map, that's okay. We've got the entire top side of the map. Now, once we've identified the defenses that outrange us, we have to see, well, can we snipe these off with an archer if we clear the trash on the outside of the base? And the answer is yes, this one on the left will be extremely easy with one archer. This one on the top side, not as easy because you 
you know, you still have to deploy it behind this line, but you should be able to get it down with two archers. And then we're just chilling, and then we're going to use our battle machine to tank the lava launcher. So I just figured I'd show you guys kind of when it's right to use this army is when the defenses that outrange your uh, mortar modes are easily reachable with archers. Because, honestly, at the, the first minute... So there comes... We'll slow it down, sorry. You can see the two archers coming in now. The first minute and a bit of this attack, you get zero value. But you get rid of the entire path on the edge of the base. And now we are good to go. That more... Oh, there was an archer. I thought it was in range of a cannon card. I was like, that would have been really interesting. But yeah, what I also like about this is all the cannon cards kind of work together. That def that guard post archer was on one of our cannon carts there, but two cannon carts shoot it. They help each other out. And I mean, look, the base is just disappearing. I don't know why we use the... I think we use the archers here to get rid of the double cannon to make our... Uh, yeah. To make life easier for our battle machine, because we can't really snipe that double cannon as easily with the lava launcher there. So yeah, that's really nice. He's trying to get this uh, Mega Tesla, and he's finally able to get it there. Look at it. <laughs> There's so many question marks. Does this not look ridiculous? This is one of the most ridiculously looking attacks I have ever seen in all levels of Clash of Clans. I mean, watch it. There's no defense left that can take down a cannon card as long as he doesn't mess up. Now. I don't actually know for sure, but time will be an issue with this army. Um, but you have got five cannon cuts, so it's not like the end of the world. But it will be a minor issue. It's something to keep track of. Thankfully, that push trap pushes us outside the base. And, I mean, look at it. Yeah, I'm going to guess this was close on time. The, that's the only reason he would have done it like this. So, yeah. Keep, him tra keep track of time. But... If you've got five cannon carts, there's not much the base can do. And yet again, same formula. We've got the four cannon carts that are left. Look at that. <laughs> not a very good start. Even the pros make mistakes, but... What can the base do? We're just going to snipe off every single firecracker. And this is the problem with some of the other strategies where you only have the one cannon cut. You can't snipe five firecrackers with one cannon cut. It will take far too long. But with this, you just use all your cannon cuts to snipe all the firecrackers. And they're all generally on the outside of the base because the base is trying to spread out the damage and uh, give it less baby drag uh, fiery sneeze value. But it, it, it's not really ready. The, the meta's not ready for this army. Honestly, I think this is some of the worst casting I've ever done for a video. Because I just don't know how to explain this. This is genuinely bonkers. Like, this is insane what I'm watching. And this is so creative. And this is what I love about Builder Base. There's so many strategies that we have no idea about. And we're going to be learning them over the next couple of months. Uh, so... Obviously, his battle machine died in the last attack, but he's been so patient with his battle copter here. Generally, people deploy it at the start, but there's no need here. We're going to use the battle copter to finish off the base. The cannon carts are not here to finish off the base. That is the job of the baby dragons and the battle copter, and they do an amazing job there. Nicely done from Synthay. He's absolutely wrecked this one. I mean... He's awesome. Now, quickly before we get into the fun and interesting live attacks, which show why this army is uh, really difficult but really rewarding, I wanted to talk about this base here because Synthe is not using cannon cuts. And I want to talk about why he isn't using cannon cuts on this base. Number one, most obviously, is this ground bow. Ground bow, obviously bad. Thankfully, there's more air bows than there are ground bows. But ground bow is bad. It's not a full deal breaker. But for instance, I don't think we'd be able to snipe this crusher or the mega tesla. And they're obviously huge for the end push that we put in with the battle machine or the flying machine. Uh, they're, they're quite important to be down. But equally as, equally as important are these archer towers, right? So normally it's easy, you snipe off the buildings on the outside, then the archer to get the archer tower. But it's really hard when the archer towers are this close to the edge of the uh, arena. Because we can't really place, we can't place our cannon cart here because that will be an arch tower range. It's kind of awkward. We'd have to place the cannon cart sort of in this area here. And that makes it a bit more complicated. And why is that? Because once we get rid of all this trash and you send in the archer, often the archer leaves the archer tower on 1 HP and you need one shot from the cannon cart. But the cannon cart might go after the uh, double cannon here or it might go after the archer tower. It's not really as easy to tell. And that just adds an extra level of complication. Now, it is mainly because of the ground bow that 
air is coming in here, but keep in mind, you need that cannon cart to, for the first thing it targets after you place your archer, needs to be the archer tower so it can finish off the job. So I thought I'd help you with that, but that's it from Synthay's attempts. Let's see if I can triple with seven cannon carts. Okay, so fun fact for you all. I've actually hit this base twice in the last four attacks with this army. The first one I time failed. The second one, I didn't want to hit it because A, it's a bad base for the army. Look at that ground bow. But more importantly, I don't want this video to just be me cracking bases in front of you guys, right? I want it to be me first attempt and uh, getting it to work. I feel like that's a bit better than this nonsense. But I can't pick which uh, I can't pick which uh, base the game gives me. So we're just gonna have to go with this. I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to go with this. So it may look like I'm cracking the base. I'm not. I've just already hit it. Still though, it's not a great base for the army. I am going with a different approach. So last time I did not go after these uh, crushes enough. Three and five. So they, they take like a couple of hits, but it's all right. Wait, three, you can get rid of that. Five, you can get rid of that. I need these crushes gone. Okay, this might actually work. Uh, versus a ground bow as well. Why is two upset? Oh, because it's got nothing. Okay, we're going to place you right over here. Now, this is just about believe... I've just got to believe that my battle machine can deal with everything that's left. I will use that cannon cart to help, but that's the only cannon cart I'm going to use. Because I, I want to have seven cannon carts in the next attack. So that, they're the only buildings left, yeah? Okay, I can probably move. Man, this would be a throw. Okay! Woo! A little too close. So I will have to use the battle copter in the next one, but we are going to... This is our chance. This is the first time I've had five left after the first attack. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is such a bad stage two. Oh, look at that lava launcher. <laughs> oh, this is funny. But there is good battle copter value. There is good battle copter value. So let's go... You. Let's go like... You... Let's go... Oh, it's not in range. That's annoying. No, I'm just gonna leave it there. I can't... I can't... I actually can't afford to, like, be caught multitasking. Because I'm just not good enough at that. Okay, that's fine. What else? Where else can we go? I've got so many cannon cuts! Which one are you? It's so hard to keep track of them all. It's so hard to keep track. Are you kidding me, too? Okay, beautiful. Where else? I've still got two more to put down! Where else can I put it? I will we'll do what, um... Eight and four. So that's eight and four. Oh my god, look at that town hall. It's wrecking us. Zappies, do not kill. The problem is, that archer tower. No, it's not a problem anymore. Okay, five. We need five to come up. No, I can't. I need this lava launcher to go down. Please get rid of the lava launcher. Five. What else have I... I've still got one. Okay, one. Are you kidding me? Okay, we just gotta overwhelm it. It's time. Let's unload them all. No! Five! No! What? Oh, it's, it's so broken. That is the saddest thing 
I've ever seen. Just them all shooting walls when they can actually reach it over the wall. Oh. This right here is gonna be the last attack of me for the video, so let's see if I can get it right. Let's see if we can finish strong, I believe. Yep, I don't actually need to put that into mortar mode, but it's just nice. Because time, like time's a massive issue with this army, obviously, because I keep time failing. But like, there's no time to be like lost at the start. You lose time with this army when you mess around with uh, just being how aggressive you are with the uh, with the mortar mode. Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna look up much. You can see the top of my beautiful hair because I need to figure this out. One, one. Then just as they become visible, that's when you... Nice job. Not sure there's much more they can do on that top side. Let's uh let's get this in. I'm actually gonna full on snipe. That. Two. Let's get three in. Okay, we got a level 3 ability. This should be tripled. That was clean. That was clean and we have 5 cannon carts left. Stop moving! Oh my god, 4 tried to die. 4 tried to die. <laughs> the Okay, so low health ones. Oh, Like I've got a reinforcement hut, but it's not that good. 7 cannon carts. We came so close last time. What can we do this time? I'm just going to be like, oh, you dick. Ha! Get stuffed. I bet you weren't ready for that. Oh, that was dumb. I just put you straight in range of a lava launcher that I definitely knew about. You can't sneak that. Why did I not switch? I even talked about the troop. I tried to switch to my battle copter. I hope that's not in lava launcher range. We have time. These Teslas are annoying. And now I'm out of cannon cuts. How is that possible? We sacrifice one little lamb. Oh, that's stupid. That's so stupid. No, I can't afford... Okay, the multi-mortar has to be looking at my king now. And I'm not gonna put that in the mortar mode. Same with you. No way, I'm scared of that double cannon. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. There's no way we time fail this, right? I tripled with seven cannon carts. Synthé, I love you. You're a genius. You all should go and buy his coaching now because he's just helped me do something that I never thought I'd be able to do, which is not make myself look like a fool on this YouTube channel. If you want to see more cannon cart videos, I will link our cannon cart guide that we did straight after the update. Everything's still relevant on that on the left. Make sure you give that a watch because uh, once you've watched that, you might be able to do the seven cannon cart challenge.